hello hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and this is a module 2 in this series for sql server 2022 so in this video you will be learning how you can install of a sql server uh, 2022 so i have built a lab uh, in a hyper v i installed a windows server 2022 and inside i will be installing the sql server 2022 so let's get started with this video now here is the video content uh, what what i am going to cover up in this video the software requirement what are the software requirement you need uh, to install this sql server hardware requirement then software service account and then uh, the source file download from where you can download the source file and then uh, the sql server installation wizard how you can install the sql server with the wizard and with the command line and the finally will move into the lab so now here is a software requirement operating system so it can installed on a windows that minimum version should be 1607 or the greater any of the windows and if you have a windows server so it say 2016 or the greater version you need it but i will recommend it you need to install on a windows server for the better performance now the dotnet so dotnet will be the part of os so you no need to install it separately but earlier version of sql required the latest dotnet but now from the 1607 or this windows server 2016 you will get the dotnet by default installed <coughs> now here is a network uh, the network software named of uh, like uh, the network what type of you need it but all these settings by default will configured automatically when you are installing the your sql server so no need to worry about on this now here is a hardware requirement what are the hardwares you required so sql server required minimum the 6 gb uh, storage to install it but the recommendation is based on your application workload you need to allocate the space like at least minimum 50 or the 100 gb you should i uh, allocate for for that particular drive where this sql will install now the monitor you need it at least uh, this is a uh, vg graphics 800 600 resolution should be there and uh, the firewall port what are the ports should be open this is a, uh, a tcp 1433402 and all these ports are required on tcp it's required uh, 1433402 1354 uh, 143 uh, 1434 so all these ports actually needed for different different uses like 80443 required for the reporting uh, um, uh, 1 uh, 1433 required for the management studio and the similar way other port are required for a different component of sql so if you need the more details you can go to the microsoft site and we'll get the more detail and udp only the one port is required one uh, one four three four but the mandatory port is one four three three eight zero and the four four uh four four three one four one four three three eight zero and four four three these are the mandatory now the memory you needed at least minimum uh, 512 mb to allocate that server but this is very less like microsoft write it on his document so i have pasted here but i will recommend at least minimum uh, 8 or 16 gb you need it because your application workload will be there on the sql server but if we if you are building just for the testing then uh, at least 4 gb is the minimum required but your sql will install on the 1 gb also but that will be uh, like a hanging or slowness performance you will get it the processor at least 2.0 hertz or the faster than and this is processor type you need the intel or amd the all 64 bit process it will support now let's go to the service account so assign the service account during the installation so you need the at least i can recommend it for you you need a admin rights to uh, admin rights on that account you used for the sql installation so you will not face any problem but that can be in sql can be installed 
uh, with the, um, the domain user account, any of the domain account or any of the local account or the local service account, the local system account, network service account, manage. So all these types of accounts can be supported. But the best recommendation is you should have the local admin rights on on your account when you are installing the SQL Server. Now here is a uh, okay. So here is the your uh, file download. How you can do it? So here is the link. Uh, just click on this link, and you will redirect to the Microsoft site, Evolution Center, and you can download the your SQL Server 2022. So that's how you can download it. <coughs> now here is the installation wizard that I will show you uh, in the lab how the installation wizard will work and what are the things we needed to install this SQL Server. And if you want to install this SQL Server with the command line, so you can use this command line, just change the few settings like the, uh, the action instant name, you need to change it and the instance ID, you need to change it, account, you need to define it. It's like if you don't want to run the wizard from the installation file, and uh, you need to just use the command line in a silent installation. So this is the command line and this is for the upgrade. So now let's log into the server and uh, we'll start the installation for our SQL server and uh, let me go to the my lab. Okay, so this is my server SQL server and uh, let me see uh, on with which account I have logged in here. So it's a I think I logged in with the admin. It's getting slow. I don't know why. Come on. Okay, WHO, who am I? Okay, so I have logged in with the administrator account and uh, my this is the my host name. So I can show you here the host name is SQL. So what I can do, I can log in on this machine with the, my the admin account, uh, with the SQL account and uh, then we'll continue from here. So now I logged in with my domain account. Domain is a bunch and uh, it's a SQL admin. So now uh, let's go and to the next step. I need a SQL server located here, which we downloaded. So I have uh, saved this SQL server setup here. So what I need to do, I need to mount this image so I can see over here. So let me mount this image and then we can start the installation. So just let me just do this. Okay, so now you can see in the SQL server setup is mounted here and I have the C drive and the E drive. So just double click on this installation and then the installation will start it. Okay, so it asking for this password. So let me do it SQL admin and uh, Perfect. Now the setup will launch. So now this wizard has launched and now here is under the planning. You can see in the hardware and software requirements, security documentation. If you need any details from the Microsoft site, so you can go with these links and uh, you can just uh, read it for their the requirement. So, but now in this scenario, we are installing the SQL server. So click on the installation and here is the option new SQL server installation or the feature or the existing installation. So just click on this link. And now just this uh, setup will start installation. Okay, so here on a screen, you can see in the evolution version, if you have the product key, you can choose this and you can enter the product key, but I don't have the product key, just I'm using the evolution version. So now uh, just click on next. and accept this license, click on next. 
and this is checking the prerequisites so it's done and now select this option so it will check the update and it will install it won't take much time it's uh, depend on your the network bandwidth and uh, so it will download actually the uh, scan updates for this SQL server so let's wait for to complete this so now it's done uh, it's uh, giving me the error for the firewall rule but that's fine it's not a warning it's just a warning it's not a error so we can continue if you want to see it's why it is happening so you can click here so windows uh, firewall is enabled so windows firewall should be disabled and you should allow the ports but it's no harm if it is enabled let's go to the next and uh, now here Azure extension for this no so for now I don't want this Azure extension will integrate it later when I will be showing uh, creating the videos for the Azure SQL now go to the next and now here is a let's select the database engine and uh, rest of the things is not useful for me and uh, the management uh, the the management server will install it later so now let's go and just install this and I'm changing the drive because I have here the D drive especially I created for SQL so let me change this drive just change the first letter and now just click on next so automatically it will create the required folders on your e drive so let me go and just see so here it will create all these folders which is required now here is the instance name if you want to give the default name so it will take ms sql server if you want to change it so you can change it uh, the name uh, default instance name as well so let it be with the default now go here and it's just checking fine so here if you have the SQL server account so you can give the you yeah, define the username with the domain and this is not a mandatory to define this if not then it will go with the default user account so if you have the domain account you can specify here but let it go without this now okay so the authentication is uh, the windows authentication mode and uh, this is a mix mode so mix mode is for it need your the SA account so SA account and the windows account both will work on this SQL so I am defining the password uh, for this SA account so by default one account will create a SA and you need to define the password here and add the current user so you can log in with your SQL admin account and even if you would like to add uh, your the admin account so you can add it here or any other account if you want so admin administrator let's just search this and we can add so I have the administrator this is for uh, here once.com I have three admins here with the different different so let me add the one admin account and this is my the current user uh, if you have any other account you can click and add it here now let's go okay I forgot to show you the one thing hmm, why? okay so here is the directory uh, your uh, the data root directory is in a e drive because I change in uh, starting only the e drive so everything will goes to the e drive your the backup directory is the e drive and uh, your the temp directory is in a e drive and your the max top uh, the process selected to and uh, this is what the memory allocated if uh, I have uh, this is a default like minimum five uh, 500 uh, this one and default is this one so you can modify if you want to uh, modify the memory so now all good let's go to the next and uh, next so now the SQL will install it will take some time to install it so I will pause this video and then we'll install the management studio on the server and then we are good for this installation okay so the installation is almost done and once it done then we'll start our management studio installation so let's wait for few of the minutes 
okay so sql server has installed now you can see in the succeed succeed and uh, now let's get started with the management studio okay so let me close this and uh, so this is the setup i downloaded from the microsoft site and uh, what you need to do just close or uh, close this setup and uh, close this setup as well and now double click on here okay so let's wait once it launch so now here you seen the uh, this wizard had launch and uh, this is the path from where uh, the installation path so now let me go and change this i am keeping the e drive here so installation will install on the e and there will be a nothing installation on the c drive so i don't want to keep it any program file inside the c now just let's click on next and okay at asking again sq sql admin okay so it will take some time to installation and then we are good with our sql server 2022 installation so so this setup uh, in progress and it will take some time to install this so we can wait for some time and once the installation is done then we are good with this installation okay so now our uh, management studio installed on this device so let me just close close this part and let me check whether it can launch or not so now just click click on a start and uh, under this let's check over here so we don't have the management studio here and we have the management studio here so this is our the management studio now click on launch here and just wait until it open so now the sql server has launched and is asking to connect so this is the my the sql server name is the sql and uh, automatically it will take your windows authentication the sql admin so let's click on connect and we'll see how many uh, data or, or what are the things will install automatically so let's see over here So now you've seen all these many things are by default installed and let's see the database. So the system database under the system database, all these things are created by default. So we have not done anything and these these all these things are the by default which we get it. So now in this our next video, I will show you how you can create a database. Uh, your own database and then how you can create the tables, how you can feed the data in the SQL and uh, then we'll go uh, with the the next uh, next videos on this module so thank you guys for this uh, watching this videos and see you soon in my next video